the same old hello and welcome to this uh, CG breakdown, I guess. Uh, I will demonstrate how I made this picture. Uh, I know it's not very good or something, but I just wanted to show how I made it. For a project I'm working on, I made this uh, robot model and uh, I decided to make a picture with me and the robot in real life. I took this picture uh, of me just sitting looking at nothing I would then place a robot over it but as you can see in the final image the robot has some reflections of the room what I did for that I took my phone went on the place where the robot would stand on the table and then make a panorama picture of the room uh, I forgot to place myself in it though that's a bit of a stupid detail I didn't think of until I was finished with the whole image. So I placed the robot on the place where I would want him on the final image in the correct pose and everything. I um, made a light that matched the original lighting I had over here and I had one shining uh, from the other side. That's why I have two shadows. Then I made a cylinder kind of weird thing where I stuck the panorama picture uh, on top of it. For now it looks really weird and funny but when you see it in rendered view you see that the reflections are kind of pretty decent looking. At least I think they are. As you can see the window over here it kinda works pretty well I think. For the shadows I had in the original image, I just kind of recreated the table, uh, the wall, and my arm. As you can see on this picture, this is it, it, it rendered. It's transparent, so when I would place this image over the original photo I took, the shadows would affect the photo in darkness and stuff like that. So that's why I made my arm. So the robot will cast a shadow on my arm as well. The robot is rendered on one layer with the reflections and everything. And the shadow is rendered on another layer. As you can see here are the objects. But then in the compositor in Blender, I made it so that the, uh, the second layer, this one, would only put the shadows in the final render. That was done in Blender. I took all the footage into After Effects and started compositing. I just started off with the picture, then I placed the robot and I just added a bunch of effects. As you can see, I'm taking them all away now. It looks really stupid like this. I changed the color so it matched the color of the photo more. I added a bit of a blur because my camera is just not good. And that's where you can see all the noise. And noise. A little bit of a dark edge around it. Then I added some details and shadow effects. I forgot to make the chair in Blender, so as you can see here, it casts a shadow from the light that's over here. So I made fake shadows like this. I would pre-composite that, uh, add some more effects, like a bit of a shadow as you can see here in my hand. My arm has a dark shadow beneath it and the robot didn't really have that. So I added it in kind of and a vignette to just put the focus on the picture and that's all I did for that. I know it's not high quality outstanding CGI work but I thought I'd just show how I did it and maybe you're getting inspired by doing something like this yourself now. So if you like this video hit that like button till it breaks and punch subscribe until it shakes. I will see you all next time. This video is over. Yolo offline.